I'm back. <laughs> hey everyone, I hope you're all well. It's Jess. I haven't filmed in, I would say maybe a year. I don't even really know. It's been a little while, but I'm back. And you will be hearing Bella screaming. So let's disregard that and the wind is going crazy. So anyway, I'm thinking of doing a series, Makeup for Dummies. I don't mean that in a rude way, but I'm just saying one-on-one, -on -one, very basic steps. Everything you need to learn from basic to a bit more glam. So if you're interested in this series, make sure you watch till the end because everything will start to make sense. So let's, let's get to it, okay? Also, disregard my face, I just did a peel and I put this sunscreen on and I'm not sure I like it. Anyway, whatever. Okay, so step one is the probably most important step out of everything and it's your skin prep. So depending on what skin type you have, you wanna go based off that. So me, personally, I have an oily T-zone. I'm not super dry around here, but I'm like normal. So I'm a combination skin. I personally don't use primers. Moment of silence for that, because a lot of people will have a shock. But I personally don't use primers. I don't really think you need it. I think if you skin prep properly, then you're sweet, okay? So what I usually do is in the morning, I apply my sunscreen and my eye cream. After that, so say I've done my skincare prep, I will come here and depending on the look I'm going for, usually it's everyday glam. So I will go in with a normal cream. I really like the world of skin foods. They have this one. I like this one if you have normal skin or combination skin like mine. Otherwise, if you have very dry skin, I would go in with something like this. It's way more thicker and it will really absorb, okay? Skin prep doesn't need to be difficult. It's actually quite simple and it will really be the base foundation of your whole routine. Whether you have dry, normal or combination skin, this is how I would apply my cream. So I go in, I use a little dot, apply, apply, apply. Don't forget your under eyes, okay? And then I like to place the most part on my neck and I really just work it in. And we just want it. I don't I like applying it to my eyelashes. I just really like to massage it in. And yes, it's gonna give you a glowy look, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, one sec. Then you can go in with this light mist if you have dry, oily, or combination skin. I really like it, it just, it's hydrating, but it's not too oily and it's a really nice refresher. I like to apply this spray after I've put my cream on. I just feel like it really mushes everything together. For my oily queens, this is a step for you. I personally wouldn't apply a serum to your skin, but I would still apply a cream. I don't think you need a primer even though you have very oily skin. Now bear with me, I like to make sure I apply a cream. This is the cream I would recommend for you. It's a bit more lightweight and it's not as oil based. Sorry about Bella. I also then, a little trick, would apply a little bit of translucent powder just to my T-zone because I feel like that's where you would get the most oil come out of. So I would apply a bit of there and then I would go in with this spray as well. That would really just lock everything in, okay? Now, if you have very dry skin, what I would recommend for you is this amazing oil by Face Hero. I recommend it to everyone, it is amazing. So I would go in with that, a few pumps, and just tap that in. You don't wanna rub it in, you wanna tap because you want it to absorb into your skin, right? So then after you apply that, then you can go in with the cream I recommended, the very, the Welder Skin Food. It's the thicker cream, it's mainly used for dry skin. Now the biggest tip for everyone, no matter what skin type I just named, I need you to start your eyes, your eyebrows, your lips, anything before you do anything to your face. I want you to at least allow two to three minutes if you're in a rush to let everything settle in, whether that means you get changed, whether that means you, know, you do your hair or whatever the case is, brush your teeth, whatever, let that settle in your skin. I promise you, if you don't, there's a very good chance you will start to get patchy around your nose, which a lot of people do end up having. So I would recommend let that all settle in your skin, then go in with your foundation of choice. Now, if you wanna see how to actually apply your foundation properly, because a lot of people are applying it wrong, and you wanna actually use less, but have it for longer, and know how to pick your skin tone for you, 
and your skin type, then make sure to watch my next video because you're not gonna wanna miss this. This is basically the next step to this base. It's gonna go hand in hand with this step, okay? Make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell so you don't miss my makeup for dummies. Bye.